Good morning. I'm feeling anxious. I'm feeling uh, anxiety. I'm feeling worried about something. What is it? It's, uh, oh, somebody somewhere said something mean about me. Oh, and the uh, global average temperature is going to rise by five degrees and make the earth uninhabitable for human beings. And what's, what, 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 what's that? Uh, oh, is there some objection, some, some doubt to this? Uh, yes, imaginary person with objection. Well, people have always said it's the end of the world and it never is. Really? Really, imaginary person with objection, that's your objection? It's never happened before, therefore it will never happen. Hey man, nothing that ever happened had ever happened before it happened and then it happened. But okay, let's go ahead and put that one in brackets. We'll just pretend there's some doubt. Let's do that, we'll do that. Uh, shortly after that, the uh, the oceans are going to go very acidic, and the only creatures that will be able to survive in our oceans will be jellyfish. So we will have a planet that is inhabited only by jellyfish, cockroaches, evil robots, and MRSA. Then, five million years from now, the sun will go nova and expand, and eventually expand past where the Earth is. It will incinerate the Earth and every atom of this entire planet will be burned up by the sun as our star uh, dies. And then 10 million years after that, I think it's 10 million years, I never look up anything. 10 million years after that, the Alpha Centauri galaxy is going to crash into our galaxy, the Milky Way, but nobody will be here to see it. And then some time after that, every star will fly away from every other star until no star can be seen by any planet ever, anywhere, ever. We will be completely isolated and alone, whoever we is, whoever the inhabitants of this Earth are, of this universe are. And then all of the stars will extinguish themselves. They'll run out of fuel, they'll dissipate, and there will be nothing but empty, void, cold, dark, meaningless and empty forever, 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 forever. And if that is our destiny, empty, meaningless, then that is where we are here now. Uh, it is empty and meaningless. What was it I was worried about? Oh, I can't remember now. When I was uh, 22, I spent a year uh, before I got my, my, my act together enough to move to New York City, I spent a year kind of doing tree work, working on the road as a professional stand-up comedian, and uh, going into New York City to audition and take Groundlings classes. And I started dating a, a woman in the Groundlings. And we went out for a couple of months, and then she uh, broke up with me. And uh, it displeased me to be dispreferred. I was not happy about her breaking up with me. Uh, it was not the outcome I would have preferred. So I was moping in the way that only a 20-something man can. And my friend Mike Shallow, I might, he talked to me on the phone and he, he offered me the following hopeful words. He said, hey, you know, you're broken up now, but you're a comedian, she's a comedian. Eventually, you two are gonna run into each other at a gig and you're gonna get to talking about old times and you're going to decide to go out for a cup of coffee and you're not going to get back together but at least you'll be drinking coffee like the bold rich flavor of Starbucks Sumatra mmm Starbucks to combat your existential dread that's the uh, button for today enjoy the simple pleasures this has been Coffee with Big Cat. I'll talk to you tomorrow.